All right, G period only. Let's draw a free body diagram of this puppy. It's actually not a puppy, it's a box. I was being metaphorical. Okay. <laughs> that was dumb. Okay, so we have the weight of the box. And we have the normal force on the box. And we have a tension right here as well as this force F. And finally, we have friction going to the left. Now, an important thing we need to do is we need to split F into X and Y components. So I'm going to actually do that here and here. So this is FY. And this is Fx. Now let's set up balanced and unbalanced force equations. In the vertical direction, we have Fy plus the normal force fighting the downward pull of gravity on the box. And the effect is that that is canceled. All of it. They balance. In the horizontal direction, we're going to have tension plus Fx minus the friction force. And the effect is that they balance, is that they don't balance because we're accelerating. So we need to do a couple things. First, let's get values for Fy and Fx. Fy equals 200 times the sine of 30. And that's going to give me 100 newtons. newtons. And then Fx is going to be 200 times the cosine of 30. Try not to get too worked up about this problem. It's 173 newtons. But wait, there's more. Let's go ahead. Now, to get the friction force, I'm going to need to use the formula friction is mu times n. And that means I'll need to get the normal force in part a. So, let's do a little bit of math here. In this y direction, I'll move this up a little bit. There we go. Let's get Fy equation. So we have 100 plus n minus Fg, which is going to be mass times the weight. That's going to be 650 equals zero. So it actually turns out our normal force is only 550 newtons. Now we can get the friction force from that. That's going to be friction is going to be 0 0.2 times 550. That's going to give me 110 newtons. Isn't that exciting? Now in the horizontal direction we have the tension 80 plus 173 minus 110 equals 65 times A. So when we actually work out the left side, let's do that right now. Come on. 80 plus 173 minus 110 is 143. equals 65 times A. So when we solve, we're going to get an acceleration of 2.2 meters per second squared. And for B, if the box is pulled for 6 seconds starting from rest, how fast is it traveling at the end of 6 seconds? V equals AT plus V naught.
that's going to be V, which is what we're solving for. And that's going to end up being 13.2 meters per second. All right, so that is the first problem for G period only. This problem here. I, um, I'm going to be honest. This problem right here, it's a little bit more than what I want to handle this year. Um, it's more of an AP problem. We won't do this one. Um, we will focus really quickly on this last one here. Um, interesting, we don't need an energy graph. You can do that if you want, but we don't necessarily need to do this. Um, there's a lot of different ways to solve it, but I'm just going to use the simple one. F is M A. F is so F equals M times A. V equals A T plus V not 28 equals A times 6. So A ends up being 4.7 meters per second squared. And then when we plug that into F equals MA, the force on the car, whoops, equals M, which is 1300, times A, which is 4.7. And that's going to end up being 6100 yep yep 6110 newtons of force so that's it for the first practice exam and um, we'll have a second practice exam ready to go by tomorrow